I'm told. Hi, everybody. Hi, my name is Hannah. Oh, Hannah. I think it's a woman. I'm a lot like a dick pic. What? Because I like to show up places uninvited. Okay. And I'm not very photogenic. Uh, and I'm always a disappointment when you finally meet me in person. So, that's me. It's good to be here, even though I'm on my period. Anybody oh. else? Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey, you too. Uh, I'm on my period. I stopped using tampons, though. Anybody here use tampons? Yeah, tampons are the worst. Don't use them. Sir, if you've never used a tampon, uh, no, yeah, you don't use them. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit what it's like. It's a lot like having a very small penis inside of you for a week. Yeah. That you know. Yeah. <laughs> so I started using a menstrual cup. Anybody? Any witches in the audience? No? Okay, well, have you ever used a menstrual cup, sir? No, okay, so for those of you who don't know what a menstrual cup is, it's a little silicone cup. Mine's uh. pink because I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, and you uh, origami fold it, and then you stick it in your <laughs> vagina and you collect blood for spells, guys. Oh, Perfect for a witch on the go, right? I'm doing a great spell right now. It's Eye of Newt, Tail of Snake, Blood of <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry. <sighs> it's a bad word. Dan Bande a fost ca frate serios, vorbește acum despre ciclu, frate Ana. Uh, <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's a love potion, by the way. Uh, you just slip it in someone's drink. And, uh, don't do that; you'll get arrested. Uh, <laughs> it's really witchy, though, using a menstrual cup. I feel like because you just like get blood splatters everywhere. It's so cool, right? You have to boil it every month in a cauldron. I'm like me, 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 right? It's amazing, and it's always like another witch from the coven that gets you into it. Like my friend was like, "Oh my God, Hannah." You have to try it. It's gonna change your life. It's so good for the environment. And you're gonna save so much money. And you're gonna get so in touch with your body. I was like, yeah, dude, I'm fully fingering myself three times a day. Never been this in touch with my body. It's like my hand smells like my own vagina for a whole week. It's like when you chop garlic, right? <laughs> Oh, they know what it's like. <laughs> go on, go on. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have a boyfriend, uh, surprisingly, and uh, he's really skinny. He's like a little skinny boy. Do you guys like skinny boys? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love skinny boys. I don't know what they like in me. Like, I always attract skinny guys. I don't know if they're turned on by the fear of death or something. <laughs> like, oh, my God, I could die at any moment. <laughs> like, suffocate me between your thighs. Like, yeah, I'm into it. I'll do it. <laughs> uh, I feel like whenever I'm with a skinny guy, it's like I'm petting a greyhound. You know those <laughs> skinny dogs? Yes. Just oh, my God. So many bones. <laughs> <laughs> so much power. <laughs> no, I, I love my boyfriend. He's a gamer, so, you know, finger dexterity, very important. Um, he really likes those, uh, those role-playing, like, fantasy games, you know, with witches and wizards and all that stuff, right? So um, he really likes like a mission, right? He'll, he'll, he'll take any challenge. He won't say no. So I thought, okay, I'm going to turn sex into a quest, right? So he comes into the bedroom and I put on my wizard hat <laughs> and I'm like, welcome, young hero. I see you wish to bring water to the cave of life. <laughs> Your timing is impeccable, young hero, for last week this cave ran red with blood. <laughs> There was a little silicone cup there that a witch... It was a whole thing. You got to be there. <laughs> uh, uh, I see that the weapon you've brought on your quest is uh, quite a bit larger than previous heroes. And they say size doesn't matter, but we all know this cave's a bit of a size queen, right? Uh, but don't worry, young hero. For many, many, I, I mean a normal amount of heroes have attempted to conquer this cave already. And usually... Yeah. I was wrong. Hannah. Thanks, guys. Yes. You got it going, girl. Yes, they are concurrent. Uh, Hannah gets me. Hannah! All right. All right, all right, all right. 
Hey, everybody. Yes. Uh, yeah, my name's Hannah, and I'm a Libra. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like astrology. I'm feeling all these straight white guys judging me a little bit for it, <laughs> Not thinking I'm stupid. <laughs> what, you, you're into astrology? Yeah? Good Give me a cheer if you like astrology. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm surprised. <sighs> Surprise! So many men are cheering. Usually, I feel like like a lot of straight guys aren't into astrology. It's like, what? You don't like fun things? It's just fun. You don't like things that are. What do you find fun? Like capitalism and World War II documentaries? Like, I don't know. Seriously, I had a I had a white guy tell me, a straight friend tell me, World War II was the best war. Who says that? And I'm the I'm the crazy one for like thinking that the stars are an excuse for my bad attitude, right? I just don't get it. Like, like it, I know that it's not real, but it's fun. And there are a lot of things that are not real, but are fun, right? Like, you guys watch movies? Yeah. Yeah, they're not real. I'm sorry to tell you. What? I know, right? <laughs> like, a lot of guys play video games. Yeah, they're not real either. And like, do you, do you have sex with women ever? <laughs> they're not yeah? real. Yeah? <laughs> so not... when, when she comes, Ah. It's not real. I'm sorry. But I'm sure you have a lot of fun with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sorry. Um, so, uh, I'm a big bitch, uh, as you can see. No, I'm not, <laughs> no I'm, not, I'm not talking about my moon in Aries. I'm <laughs> talking about literally, I'm a, I'm a big girl, right? I'm fat, okay? That's okay. Oh, no, guys, guys, don't be, it's okay. I know a lot of people are uncomfortable with the word fat. So just think of me as, as plus size or, right? Right, when I go to a store, they're like curvy, <laughs> right? Or when I go to an audition, they're like happy, non-model type. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. I, it's, it's my own fault, right? I can't blame the stars for being a big girl, right? I hate exercising. My idea of going to the gym is put the sports bra on. Take the sports bra off. <laughs> Put the sports bra on. Take the sports bra off. You do like 12 sets of that, you really start to feel it in the delts. I'm serious. <laughs> it's a good exercise. Uh, I'm also big because I like to eat food. Anyone else like to eat food? Nah. Yeah, right? That's basically we can all nah. agree on. Yeah, right? We all like food. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love fast food, though. Do you guys like fast food? Yeah. I love it so much. I love it so much. And I love, I don't know if you guys have this here, but I love when you go to the fast food restaurant and they have a screen, right? So that you can, like, order enough food for three people without looking anybody in the eye. <laughs> right? Yeah, I need that. The problem is I'm really indecisive. I told you I'm a Libra. Uh, <laughs> I'm super indecisive. So when I get to the screen, I'm like, I, I know what I want. And then I see all the options. And then it's a lot like when you go into a porn website, you know? <laughs> And you go into it knowing what you want, and then suddenly you have 20 tabs open. You have no idea, right? It's like, do I want a side of fries or a side of anal? <laughs> do I want a Big Mac or a Big Rack? Do I want a double quarter pounder or a double quarter pounding? <laughs> I mean, either way, I'm taking it to the face. <laughs> nice. And swallowing, swallowing, yes. Wow. Um, speaking of porn, I don't know if you guys have ever read the comments on porn. Who does it? <laughs> Not me. Yeah, you're like, I've, I've, you're like, I don't shamefully close the window right after I finish, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I love the comments. I, I honestly think it's the last wholesome space that we have on the internet, right? No one in the, is in the porn comments fighting, right? No one's like talking about conspiracy theories. No one's like, mm, like 5G is giving us COVID, <laughs> right? No, no one's talking about that. Everyone's just helping each other, creating community, right? Skip to 731 for the cum shot, right? <laughs> <laughs> like best tits on porn. Right? It's like it's like artistic critiques, right? It's like, oh, I, I wish the camera angle you. had gone lower so I could have seen how his ball, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? It's beautiful, guys. Scroll down. Scroll down after you wank. Come on. <laughs> the best comment that I saw uh, on a porn video was uh, a guy was like, this is it. This is the last porn video that I'm ever gonna watch. I'm gonna tell my crush how I feel about her. And for months afterwards, people were replying like, dude, did you do it? Let us know how it went. Like, oh man, it's been so long. He probably did it. Yeah, good for you. And I'm like, no, dude, he found another video. <laughs> he moved on. 
It's beautiful. It's a beautiful community. And uh, I just, I just want to end my set by talking about my heroes in this world. Uh, and they're the women who sell their virginities on the internet. Did you guys know you could do this? Anyone else feeling like they wasted their virginity on someone? <laughs> right? They're women who make like two million dollars. Two yeah. million, it's so much, like two million dollars. I could have made like, maybe like a thousand, okay? <laughs> like, let's not go crazy. But uh, it's incredible. And like, I, I just, I feel like I, I wasted my, I could have made money. And like, when I have kids, I don't want them to make the same mistakes that I make, <laughs> right? And I, I'm gonna sit my daughter down and be like, sweetheart, you can do whatever you want with your body, okay? Whatever you want. But... <laughs> If you just wait until you're 18, you could make $2 million. Oh my God, I know you're only seven, but that's so much money. That's, you could do anything you want. You could travel the world. You could, you could buy your mom a house, eh? right? You could buy your mom a house, eh? And you know what? Let's get real, honey. Virginity is a myth. Mm -hmm. Virginity is a myth perpetuated by the patriarchy to keep women down. So do it for feminism, sweetheart. Do it for feminism. Don't forget the house, okay? Feminism! All right, happy birthday. Mommy loves you. Run along now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. That was my set. Bye. 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 Uh, everything Kobe said about me is a lie. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, uh, I take naps the same way. Which is once or twice a week, 45 minutes tops, and I'm never satisfied afterwards. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a woman. It's hard, right? I'm, I mean, I got these nice boobs to prove it. You can look at them, I'm giving you permission. They're nice, look at these little baby heads. Right? Well, a lot of people compare boobs to fruit, but I find that dehumanizing. So I'd rather compare them to babies. <laughs> yeah. I use, <laughs> yeah, I use the infant head circumference growth rate chart. <laughs> They're only the 65th percentile of further age. But I'm raising them to be hot, not smart. So get them, baby heads. Let's go. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm a woman. I got, I got women's issues. Uh, I like to say women's issues instead of lady problems. It sounds more official, right? <laughs> it's like when you call a hookup a dick appointment. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hmm, let me schedule this dick appointment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, don't, um, I don't schedule too many dick appointments anymore. I'm in a relationship. Sorry, Kobe. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I used to be a slut. Anybody else? Anybody Ooh. else? No, come on, give it up. Any, yeah, give it yeah. up for sluts. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 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 yeah, I used to be a slut, but I think I, I had that moment that every slut has when they're like, should I do this professionally? <laughs> right? Right? Because if you do sex work, right? If you're a, a prostitute or a stripper, that's a job, that's work. So when you're a slut, you're just volunteering. <laughs> yeah? And I've done enough community service, right? I think, I think I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Um, I do always feel like there's this power struggle between sluts and sex workers, right? Like sex workers are like, stop devaluing the work that we do. And, and sluts are like, capitalist pigs. You can't put a price on these baby heads! <laughs> um, honestly, I think we should all just hold hands and focus on the real issues, right? Uh, in my country, a big issue for women is the wage gap. I don't know if you guys know about this. Women make 77 cents to the dollar. But luckily, I'm here in Romania. You guys have the lowest wage gap in all of Europe. Did you know that? Oh my God. That's so cool, oh, God, yeah, God, God, God. right? So f the wage gap. I don't care about the wage gap. Yeah, these men are weirdly excited about that. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm into it. But yeah, I don't care about the wage gap. I care about the orgasm gap. Right, what? okay? Women are making 32% of every orgasm a man makes. And it's not enough. We're going bankrupt, people. We're going bankrupt. We have to reach into our own pockets <laughs> to close the gap, yeah. Oh, that's his tough. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you guys have this toy uh, in like the late 90s called Bop It? Did you guys have this toy? Uh, it was like a toy from yeah, when I was growing up. Uh, it has a button that you hit, a thing you twist, a thing you pull, and it would go like, Bop It. 
like twist it, brook, like pull it, whoop, and you would, you know, see how far you could go. And if you messed up, it would be mean to you, which was so fun when you were a kid, right? It would be like, blah, you lost, bro. Like, do it again, but better. Um, and I just really identify with a bop it, <laughs> like sexually. You guys know what I mean? Like, I just lay there <laughs> and I'm like, uh, lick it. <laughs> Kiss it, wow. <laughs> Stroke it, yeah. Right. Rub it, okay, yeah. Rub it, all right. Rub it, R okay, a little to the left. Rub it, 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 You lost, bro. <laughs> Do it again, the better. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I, I feel like it's not fair. Like, we're playing a different game. Right? Because giving a man an orgasm is like the easiest thing. You just shake it, it goes, it's like whatever. No fanfare. But giving a woman an orgasm is like an Olympic sport, right? You need strength, stamina, mind control, right? <laughs> it's so hard. Like when I give my boyfriend an orgasm, it's just like, eh, whatever. I rinse off, we keep watching Netflix, we move on, right? But when he gives me an orgasm like once a year, it's like, it's like a parade goes by, like fireworks are going off, a children's choir sings hallelujah. <laughs> and he gets, yeah. Um, and he, yeah, he always gets really into it. He'll be like, one small step for man, one huge leap for womankind. Um, but uh, just like the moon landing, you always have to wonder, Is did she me? fake it? <laughs> <laughs> That's my time. Thank you guys yeah. so much. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Hey. Oh, my God. It's so cool to be here. I, like, literally can't believe that I made it to the finals. It's so weird. Uh, I also can't believe that I had to go paddleboarding in a swimming pool uh, surrounded by a bunch of Romanian guys. It's like, how did you guys hack into my porn search history? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> um, yeah, I was a bit... Oh, sure. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Um, as a woman, I was a bit nervous, right, showing some skin uh, on television, but then I saw what the guys had to wear, and I was like, no, no one's going to have time to objectify me. They're all going to be looking at how big their d are. Um, good thing I didn't have to wear one of those, because then you would have seen how big my d uh, No, yeah, they, um... Um... Yeah, luckily they let me wear a dress to cover my enormous c I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I was, I was wearing a dress, uh, which gave me these flashbacks of when I was like a chubby little kid and I was uh, self-conscious about my body going to the swimming pool uh, and I would wear like a big t-shirt and shorts when I'd go in the pool, like as if that was gonna disguise how fat I was or something, right? Like no one looks skinnier with like soaking wet clothes sticking to every lump of fat on their body. Right? Nothing screams, look at me, I hate myself. And can you uh, believe that that same little kid wanted to be a spy when she grew up? <laughs> yeah, uh, this, this is not like the body of a spy. Like this is the body of someone who spies delicious food and puts it in her mouth. Right? Uh, yeah, I, I, you need a lot of skills to be a spy and I have none of them, like not a single one. Like spies need to have really good memories. Uh, and I, I can't remember, like I forget my keys all the time. Uh, like to my own apartment, I have to ring my own doorbell and hope my roommates will let me in. Has this ever happened to you? You can't do this when you're a spy, right? Imagine you're running up to the safe house with the hostage and you're just like, ah. Oh. <laughs> I think I left the keys in the car. Oh. Yeah, the car that we drove off the cliff, it sunk to the bottom of the ocean so they couldn't track us. Yeah. I think we can just ring the bell, maybe? Someone will let us in? No. Um, yeah, I, I'm definitely not smart enough to be a spy. Uh, although I did go to a really good college. I went to this pretty prestigious all-women's college, uh, which I know Europeans have this vision of a women's college as being this weird, like, religious virgin cult <laughs> thing. Uh, but it was actually more like a lesbian paradise. <laughs> uh, 
Vamos disso, vamos isso. Yeah, it was great. I mean, I w- I'm straight, so it was not really so great for me. Uh, yeah, I was like the only one that was protecting my purity. Uh, and uh, for my lesbian friends, it was amazing. It was like the world's largest peach orchard. <laughs> Or like an all-you-can-eat taco bar. <laughs> yeah, it was a buffet, guys. It was a buffet. Yeah. And I was there in the corner like, do you have a hot dog? No? Yeah. Like, I'll take a tofu dog even at this point. <laughs> yeah, so first chance I got, I ran away to Europe uh, to sample the sausages. Uh, and I ended up with a delicious, juicy Spanish chorizo. Uh, yeah, I found, found a Spanish man. Uh, I love dating foreign guys because I look better through a language barrier. Uh, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Um, the problem with uh, being American in Europe, though, is uh, when you meet a guy, you have to play this game called gay or European, because uh, we really can't tell the difference, right? Like, I'm serious. You see a guy, and you're like, oh, he's cute, but like, his pants are pretty tight. Like, he crosses his legs like this. <laughs> he has a lot of opinions about wine. I don't know. Is he gay or European? I don't know. Uh, so that's how I met my ex. Uh, I was, yeah. yeah, you guys are just European. Don't worry. Uh, thank, you. thank you, Hannah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, we you are it. also quite slim. <laughs> yeah, thanks. We're all just lying to each other. It's good. Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, so when I met my ex, I wasn't sure. Uh, but he did have this group of, of European friends. Uh, they were like uh, Gustav and Jean-Pierre and Giuseppe and Fernando and Hans. Yeah, and they did just all this European stuff together, like telling me how much more history they had than me and <laughs> like going on gondola rides and like colonizing Africa, you know, all the good, <laughs> all the good European stuff. Um, and I, so I thought everything was normal, but then I went to his house uh, one day, and he had this little closet in his room, and I was like, oh no, he's going to come out of it. Uh, <laughs> uh, but then he, he opened it, and inside the closet was just an array of dildos. And I was like, that's weird. They didn't look like the dildos that we had at women's college that were like pink and sparkly and like different sizes and like some of them vibrated. It was, you know, fun things. They know they were just like normal size, like flesh colored and they had a little name tag under each one of them that was like Gustav, Jean-Pierre, <laughs> Giuseppe, Fernando, Hans. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's it. Thank you guys. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh.